What's going on guys, Biddy here, and today I have a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate video. Uh, you, if you uh, may or may not know, if you don't know about it, what is wrong with you? <laughs> uh, yesterday was the Nintendo E3 conference, well yesterday as I'm recording this on the 13th, uh, was the yeah, Nintendo E3 presentation, where we got a lot of Smash Bros for the Switch, aka Super Smash Bros. Ultimate information. Uh, I did not do a reaction video or anything like that, but, but I am going to be posting a lot of content for this. I'm going to try and get extremely active, and I hope you guys enjoy and stick around for it. Um, but pretty much, so at E3, when they, they all they had the Invitational, they demoed the game, showed some stuff. A deal, like, um... They didn't have all of the characters available there. One of the characters they did not have available was Toon Link, uh, which if you, of course, may or may not know, is my main <laughs> in Smash 4. Uh, and also, like a quick recap, Smash Ultimate brings all of the characters that have been released in all the Smash games into one. And then some new additions, obviously, like Ridley, uh, Daisy will be in there, um, Inkling, and... Yeah, and they throw all, they put every character that was in Smash 4, they brought back Ice Climbers, Wolf, Snake, Pichu. Uh, very interesting. So, yeah. Um, and if you go on the SmashBros.com website, I'll have a link to it down below. Um, they revamped it all for Smash uh, Ultimate. And they have all of the all of the characters that were announced. You see the number above Toon Link, that means he was like the 43rd character added like in order like the first 12 like 1 through 12 will be the where the 12 characters added in 64 and then the new characters that were added on melee will be the next numbers and so on and so forth uh so every character on the smash bros site um will have uh has have a little like info page on them doesn't really have much yet because like they just announced it all but they there is like a 25 to 30 second video on each character where you get to see a little bit of uh a little bit of info. I'm gonna lower this a little bit. Ah, oh, please, no, that's fine. Um, well, yeah, you see a little bit of info, and I already saw it, but I'm going to watch it again, and I'm only I'm gonna give like my thoughts um, on Toon Link from what we see here, which yes, will not be much, but it'll be a little bit of speculation in there too. But I'm just gonna give my thoughts because there are a couple things I did wanna uh, mention. So let me just let's play it a bit. I'm gonna pause at points and whatnot to talk about shit. So here we go. Classic music. There he is, the boy. Alright, right away. Oh, I'm gonna let that play through again. Hold on. I'm gonna let... Okay, so. We see him block the Pikmin. That is. That is nothing new. Blocks, the, blocks it with the shield by not moving. But then we see this. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me that. I'm gonna be really bad at this, by the way. We see this. This swing attack. Oh shit! It's a move we. Oh, oh I accidentally skipped to portion of a G's. I'm bad at this. Uh, you see the swing that you really haven't seen him do before, and this makes me think that it's his F smash. It it may uh, it, it definitely just gives off the impression that it is an F smash. And you, some people may think what I thought initially that it could be the F tilt, but I'll get to that shortly. Uh, but it looks like it's just a one-hit swing move because it launched, it obviously launched him when he got hit by it normally in Smash 4 and even in Brawl. When he did the first hit of Smash D, it didn't really have much knockback, but it helped lead into the second hit, which did have the knockback. But this looks a little different, and it's very interesting because... Some of you may or may not know, F Two Links F Smash is what I'm somewhat like. It's a, like a meme slash like what I'm actually like known for with him. I love throwing out that move. I love implementing it in my gameplay, and having it be two hits is, has been of a lot of use for me. Especially because you can one hit someone's shield, and you can mix up and delay the second hit to either force them to drop shield or just not do the second hit and get like a grab or just reset neutral. It has a bit of implications to it. Um, so the fact that it, if it is one hit, it's a little bit upsetting for me. Not necessarily it'll be bad, because obviously we don't know 
the frame data on it, the damage output, what we can do with it, what the other moves can do into F Smash. There can be other useful shit, but yeah. And also, if you look at Young Link's video, because Young Link is also a character, um, he had you can see he has the two hit F Smash just like two links in Smash Four, like him in Melee, two links in bro, like, it, the normal two hit hi ya yeah, the two swings. But the possibility that Toon Link may not have that. Granted, because this is E3, things may change by the time uh, release comes, which is December 7th, by the way. Get hype. Four months. I don't, wait, I want to say four months. Six months. Uh, but yeah, right away, that definitely caught my eyes. And yeah. Alright, so we can keep going. Alright, so right here, we get a little bit of info. So, uh, so first off, we see, oh, god damn. First off, we see up tilt, not send that far. Like, you, you see Shulk is, like, just right above him. So, I, it would, it's safe to say that up tilt will still lead into combos, just like it did in Smash 4. Um, but then we get this little sequence right here. You get up tilt, dare. It's, it's not the pogo dare, like he had in Brawl, where he, if you dared, you bounced on someone or bounced off shield, which was very helpful and very useful. He definitely, he still goes through them, sticks it in the ground. I can't tell, it does kind of look, a, like the end lag, it does look a little faster, but I don't know if it's because the video, well, I mean, look at that time in between him pulling it out. Like, let me see if I can figure this out. Look, he's pulling it out. All right, that's one frame. And then he starts pulling out the hook shot. It's really not, it doesn't seem like there's much end lag. Oh, let me see some. Alright. Oh, shit. Yeah, so he hits him. I, like, I'm gonna try my best to like dissect this gameplay as much as possible. Alright, so. He hits the ground. And look, he, like, as soon as he hits the ground, he starts pulling it out. Actually, no, no, they're still going in the ground. Never mind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 14, 14, 15. It's very ghetto. I know. It still has a decent amount of anime, but I don't know. It just seems like it looks faster. But yeah, see, look at that. And then by the time, like, Shulk is like landing, it looks like Shulk is probably around like the 30 to 40 percent when this happens. He's able to grab him out of like the fall, out of falling animation. Now, in Smash 4, it that, that, like, isn't really, like, a thing you would see. Where, like, you would dare someone and then get a grab. Honestly, that didn't look true either. Um, granted, like, we don't know how much of, like, how much hit stun things will have. Um, from what people were saying, uh, it didn't look like moves had as much hit stun as it did in other games. But I highly doubt that is the true thing, dare to grab. But the fact that he was able to grab him there is pretty interesting because in my experiences, like when they're in falling animation, grab will sometimes just not work. So that and off and obviously he has a tether grab just like always. He has the hook shot, but that is honestly like a decent thing that caught my eye. Um, but yeah, so he got that, and then he backs him. Look how far he wants. Now here's the thing. <laughs> See, I'm definitely being one of those theorists. Uh, I'm on, my, I'm on my game explains the flow. But if he dared him, if he dared him and he didn't go that high, and like we literally fell back down really quickly to get the grab, and then look how far he gets launched that back. Granted, the initial launch speed on moves has been like increased a bunch. If you watch like the gameplay, they get launched fast, but then like stop at like an, at like in a, at a certain duration. Instead of just slowly like getting launched and then slowly slowing down, it's like fast launch and fast stop. It's very interesting, but yeah, he he went he got yeeted hard. Also, I am not a fan of this smoke thing that comes out when moves when big moves like that get like hit. Like look, you see this red smoke. I I am not much of a fan of that honestly. It is very distracting and especially because like it is more much more visible. Than it was in like in Smash Four, especially like, in doubles. Like if you watch them the doubles play, it got a little bit of annoying fast. But anyways, let's keep going. Now, at first I was thinking that this was his taunt, but the the duration that it lasts, I'm guessing it's a, he has a rapid jab now. So, 
Yeah, because I, I was like, oh, he's taunting, but first he didn't yell, and also, it, it lasts for like a few seconds. Which before he would just only do it for like one second and then breathe afterwards. So I'm guessing he has a rapid jab now, which I'm not sure how to feel about that. I mean, I guess it's good as long as he's able to gentleman, which which is only doing the one, two, three hit. Like, you know, Falcon, he does, he can rapid jab, but if you hold down A, he does the one, two, three, and then just like doesn't do the rapid jab. So if he's able to do that, I guess having a rapid jab would be cool. Different. Alright, so you got a bomb, pulls it. Okay, this is a little sequence here. Okay, we got up tilt. Yeah, up tilt. Into, see, there, there's the F tilt. So that takes away that whole first hit in the beginning with the with Almar being an F tilt. His F tilt is still the same. But I like to say, he throws the bomb. Up tilt, F tilt, into the bomb. Into a slightly charged grounded up B. Which, which, looks, which looks different. Um, but still, I don't see it as being a safe option and I can see it being highly punishable. I'm like a guy, especially during Smash 4, when it was, um, when, like, people did ground it up me, I was never a fan of it. I don't do it myself because I just don't see it as worth it. I see plenty of people will throw it out, especially at ledge, and if someone, like, just dodges, they'll get hard punished for it. I just see, like, better, like, safer options for it. I mean, you, it, I mean, it can work, but I don't know. I'm not about that. But, you did, we did see the Aculo sequence, you got up tilt into F tilt, that did look true at lower percents, into the bomb. And it looks like you can combo that into uh, like like F smash if you wanted to. So that was pretty cool. And then I think right here, it just, yeah, it shows his final smash. Wait, hold on, one sec. Look, look, look at his eye right there. That's fucking demonic ass. Look <laughs> at good shit. But yeah, Final Smash still the same, and that's pretty much it. So, yeah, I know like I made, made this video longer than it should be, but I was like, most of it was just giving my initial thoughts, talking about Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, but nonetheless, this game does interest me, of course. Uh, we will have, I'm sure, we're, we're getting more info by the day as people are playing the demos and whatnot. And like I said, I'm sure the game is going to be different as time goes on before release, and by release, I'm sure a lot of things will be different. Uh, it was like it was like that for Smash 4 between E3 and the release. So yeah, it's gonna be gonna be very interesting. Um, I hope 2 Link has two at F Smash, but nonetheless, he looks for the most part pretty similar. Uh, like he'll probably just be a mobile zoner with decent good combo game as long as he has, as long as he has good kill power. I can see myself playing it, but I also have interest in Young Link. I have interest in a bunch of characters. I want to. I want to try out Snake. I want to try out Inkling. I want to try out like Meta Knight. Uh, who else? Like a, bu a bunch of characters, like Pokemon Trainer too. Like it's it's gonna be very interesting. Uh, but yeah, maybe we'll get like a demo as time goes on. And but I'm gonna try to put out more Smash Bros. Ultimate content. Let me know what you guys want to see regarding this game like if you want to see me talk about other characters if you want to see i'm probably gonna make another video talking about some of the new changes that we have uh, gotten that they that they have shown us from smash 4 to this game like uh directional air dodging uh there's there's a diff decent amount of changes adding battlefield uh Omega stages, not F, not only FD Omega, but Battlefield Omega, and the option to turn stage hazards off. I could, I'm going to make a video probably on that stuff uh, later this week. But I just wanted to at least get something out for you guys now. But thank you all for watching. Uh, December 7th, it's going to be pretty hype. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Check out my channel for more content. I will be posting more soon. I know I've been slacking on it. But I definitely have been streaming a bunch, so you could go check the description below. You can find my Twitch as well as my Discord server. Join it. Be part of the bitty committee, as, as I like to call it. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.